Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is another TTM video. We'd like to get autographs TTM or through the mail just by sending our favorite athletes and celebrities cards and photographs along with a self-addressed stamped envelope. When we get returns, we come to YouTube, make videos, share the information. We've got seven, so let's get right into it. First one is coming from San Diego, California. Got several out in that area. This is Merv Retmond. Old Baltimore Orioles, San Diego Padre. Sign one. Sign that 71 tops. That's him right there, number 14. When they won the World Series, Baltimore Orioles. And then his third team, the Cincinnati Reds, that 76 tops. He helped win the 75 World Series that year for the Big Red Machine. He was a member of that. He was a part-time player, of course. Wasn't one of the starters. But uh, that's how he spent most of his career, really. He was a starter for the Orioles way back when, when they won the 70. But that's Merv Redmond. He's 77 years old now. Played for 13 years as a player, outfielder from 68 to 80. Four teams, mostly, as you saw there, for the Orioles, but also played for the Padres and Reds. Then he coached for several years after his playing days. Actually coached for about 25 years. Uh, and nine of those were with the Padres, and that's where he ended up. He still lives in San Diego. Part of three World Series champions, including the 70 Orioles and the 75 Reds. He was the hitting coach for the 1989 A's. So when the uh, Bash Brothers won the World Series in 89... Great athlete, uh, Merv Rettman was drafted by the Cowboys in the 65 NFL draft, in addition to signing as a professional baseball player. So nine days, no fee for 77-year-old Merv Rettman. Next one's coming from Memphis, Tennessee. And I really have no idea who this one is. <clears throat> oh. No hard card, Don Kessinger. Nice. This has been out a while. 73 tops, 71 tops, 70 tops. And that deco edge from 69, I believe. Nice. All right. Had these out for a while. Got returned before from Mr. Kessinger. Got him on a couple Cardinals cards, I think. 77 tops. And um, I wanted to get him on a Cubs because that's where I remember him, of course. And that's where he's... Claim to fame, and he became a, an all-star for six years with those great Chicago Cubs. But uh, you're a really good player, 77 years old also, and uh, played for 16 years from 64 to 79. Mostly for those Cubs, not for the Cardinals or White Sox. Great player and kind of uh, unsung and underrated over most of his career. Two times Gold Glove winner in addition to those six times in the all-star game. He was another great athlete, really. He played basketball and baseball in college at Old Miss. He was an All-American in both sports. So he had about 2,000 hits in his career. Waited a while. That's 104 days. No fee for Don Kessinger. 104 days. Next one's also coming from San Diego, and it's got a massive piece of tape here. Usually these... Um, Dollar Tree self-stick envelopes that I use for my return envelopes stick together pretty well, but he wanted to make sure and added a piece of tape, which is thoughtful. Oh, there it is, James Lofton. I saw this in a recent Mail Day video. That's his rookie card. Hall of Famer charges $10, and often he sends a Hall of Fame card, and there it is. James Lofton, Hall of Fame 03, and he's dating them now, 2020. He dated this one 2020 as well. I think he wants to check to see if they're being sold or some other reason he's got. I don't know. But, um, yeah, he's twenty. He's $10, and he's often he often does send this second card along. So, really, it's, it comes out to $5 per card, which is not bad at all for one of the greatest receivers of all time. But to get it on that rookie card, that's, that's extra sweet. We showed that in recent Mail Day video that – 79 tops. Rookie James Lofton. He's only 63 years old, kind of a youngster compared to these other two today. Uh, he played a long time. He played for 16 years, 
78 to 93, played for five teams, but mostly for these Packers and uh, and the Bills for a few years. Also played for the Raiders. Known for his speed, he could, he had speed to burn. Great, great receiver. But he also became a coach after his playing days. I think he coached for seven or eight years with the Chargers and with the Raiders. That's probably why he ended up in San Diego as well. Eight times in the Pro Bowl. First player ever to go over 14,000 yards receiving at 14,004 at the end of his career. NFL's all-decade team in the 1980s, 764 receptions, 75 touchdowns, and as he said, Hall of Fame in 2003. Eight days, really quick return. Eight days, there is a $10 fee, but he usually does send this extra card, so it's really like $5 a card. But, again, your mileage may vary. He's been known to send that card, but I don't want you to have it happen and him not send one. Next one is coming from who knows where. There's no postmark on this one. And it's kind of an older stamp. Oh! Boom. Ha! Okay, Charlie Trippy. We see this Hall of Famer in a couple different times. I recently got this vintage 54 Bowman, 55 Bowman. Ooh, looks sweet with that ink. Man, I had to send it to him right away. He's 98 years old, and he's another great athlete. I mean, he um, he played professional baseball, too, I believe, for maybe a year prior to heading over to the plane in the NFL. Plus, he lost a couple years to the war, I believe. But um, this is episode, what, 114? So we got him in 104 if you want to go back and look. But So check his out stats that I gave then. But um, he retired. He had the most yards, most yards from scrimmage of any player in NFL history when he retired. And um, just like James Lofton was on the all-decade team in the 80s, Charlie Trivi was on the NFL's all-decade team as well. But his was back in the 1940s. <laughs> 1940s. He was a versatile all-around player. He was the only player still today in the Hall of Fame who has 1,000 yards receiving, 1,000 yards rushing, and 1,000 yards passing. 12 days, no fee. A lot of NFL Hall of Famers for no fee. And one of them is 98-year-old Charlie Trippy. So go get him if you haven't done so. Next one's coming from Tampa St. Pete. Tampa St. Pete. Great place to be. No hard card. Ted Power. Okay. Pretty cool. First time ever receiving him back. He's a good signer. 65-year-old former right-handed pitcher. 13 seasons, 81-93 to 93 for nine teams. Pirates, Reds, and Reds. Okay, he only signed three of four. He may have a three limit. Probably does. Send him four cards. He's got a great signature. Ted Power. Ted Power. It's now or never. Okay. Promised I wouldn't sing, and there I go singing. So we'll put that in front of Merv Rettman's World Series. We remember you, Merv. Don't worry. But, uh, yeah, he led the league in games pitched in 84 with 78. That'll be on here. Nope. Only shows the last five years. In 1985, he saved 27 games. Pretty successful pitching coach in the minor leagues, and uh, and I coached in the big leagues, I think, for a while, too. 12 days, no fee for Ted Power, who was a starter and a closer and a middle reliever, all three. Ted Power. All right. Next one up is uh, from kind of an odd return here. White River Junction, Vermont. White River Junction, Vermont. Got a note. Thank you for a donation. It will be used to support youth baseball in, and softball in Zeeland, Michigan. Jim Kitty Cott. Ooh. All right. Signed to 74 tops and that beautiful 66 tops. Nice. Jim Kitty Cott should be in the Hall of Fame. 81 years old, left-handed pitcher. Played for 25 seasons, ladies and gents. 25 seasons. 
From 59 to 83, he played in four decades. So he 283 wins, about 2,400 strikeouts. Had three 20-win seasons. Great career. This one will show more. Great career. Uh, after retiring, he, be, he became a pitching coach for the Reds. Uh, Pete Rose hired him as a pitching coach. And then after that, he became a broadcaster for several years, including for the Yankees and Twins, and then the game of the week on ESPN. 12 days. He does charge $5 a card, but as you saw, he donates the $5 to his hometown Little League system in Zeeland, Michigan. So that's pretty cool. Last one's a photo, so I may need to get the easel. We shall see what it is. Five by seven photograph. And let's bust it open, shall we? Coming from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Burt Thiel, Burt Thiel, Boston Braves, 1952, kind of an interesting character. Do you sign it in ballpoint? So it's hard to show up on these glossy photos. Maybe I should have sent him a, a matte photo. And down there, it's almost tough to see. Burt Thiel, B Braves, 1952. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Guess how old he is. He's not 77. He's not 81. He's 94, relief pitcher for the Boston Braves for just one month in 1952. He was in four games and in the majors. But I'm, oh, hello. Kind of unbelievable. That's the second time we've hit the road today. So kind of unbelievably, he played 14 years in the minors and uh, had a Full career, won 145 games in the minor leagues. So that might be some sort of record. But he's only one of two surviving Boston Braves, and uh, the other is Del Crandall, who I guess in 2000, early in 2020 was sending notes back. His family was sending notes back saying he was too ill to sign. So send to Burt Thiel. He only played for one month in the big leagues. But hey, he's 94 years old. I think he's the 16th oldest living player. Number 16 on that list. Of course, Eddie Robinson's number one at 99. But that's it, guys and gals. Thanks for watching. Uh, give me a big thumbs up. I'll try to make that subscription thing pop up right here in just a few seconds. But um, we'll wrap things up. we got Merv Retmond in nine days. Don Kessinger, 104 days. Both of those were no fee. James Lofton, eight days. There's a $10 fee. Charlie Trippy, 12 days, no fee. Ted Power, there may be a three limit on him, 11 days. Jim Cott, $5 per card, 12 days. And Bert Thiel, 94 years young, eight days, no fee. Hey, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. That subscription thing should be right here. You can click right there and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.